Hey, if you like these videos that I'm putting out there, please subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when there's new videos that come online. It really humbles my heart that all of you guys are following me. And for any uh, anyone that's new, welcome aboard. Uh, it's a journey of one, experiment of one, with my running and um, math running particularly. It is math test today. The weather seemed to have cooperated and I needed to get one in, so it's a little windy. And uh, I don't necessarily know if the track is open, but there's no tape around it. There's, I don't know, there's a few people here and there, but anyways, I'm gonna go and do my test. The last time that I did this, this workout uh, on the track was quite some time ago. So it'll be interesting to see how I do, um, you know, at the end of it. So two hours at math, no water, no food. Last time I ate was, I think, six o'clock last night. So it's about seven degrees. It's a little windy in a couple of places, uh, which is why I'm kind of filming where I am. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what I can uh, what I can do on the track. So I'm looking kind of forward to it. So, anyways, let's go run. That was pretty sweet. I'm happy with how things went. I'm not gonna tell you yet. So the run is complete, guys. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'm not gonna tell you how I did. I'm not gonna share any of that. We gotta look at the Strava. We have to look at the results. We gotta do some comparisons. But math, two hours on the track. This is what happened. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> so what are we talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Let us talk about how the run went today because I wanted to compare this with how I did um, two, uh, oh, probably wait, in December. I wanted to talk about how December was. So, okay, so December. These runs that I'm doing are two hours. They're on the track. I'm not eating anything and there's no liquid. So both of these are pretty close to comparable as possible. I treat math as 138. That's what my number is. However, I do allow for a little bit of variance on the lower and upper. So on the higher end, it goes to 141. On the lower end, it goes to 135. The only reason is I'm using a wristwatch and sometimes it, you just don't know, <laughs> right? We just don't know. I have a chest strap and I did a test and they were both the same. So I'm just, I've been using my Coros watch and I'm sticking with it. The other thing is, is um, this run that I did in December was like, I think around like minus three, minus two two, something like that. And today was about five degrees, six degrees. It went, kind of went up to eight and maybe even nine. It kind of 
started to go higher uh, or warm up sorry but then it started to cool down again and it's and it's windy so you know have a little bit of that going on during this run as well so I do my best um, with <laughs> comparisons the one in December I kind of ran to the track ran around and then ran home however with this one I did my warm-up ran around the track and then I did my cool down so they're kind of separate so anyways they'll be a little bit different but not a whole lot so let's start with our first one December's two-hour run I was 15 kilometers, two hours, and 755 pace with a relative effort that Strava puts out as 179. That's how I did. All right. Now, today I did 19 kilometers, two hours, 619 pace with a relative effort of 158. <laughs> I'll take it as a win, guys. I'll take it as a win. It's flipping awesome. I'm super happy with that. Uh, now let's dive into a little bit more of the numbers. So I did it, I, I saved it in Strava as a race. So just to kind of have a little bit of a, I don't know, some other cool numbers to look at. In December, um, I they did this every four kilometers, I guess, in the race strategy thing here. So uh, they're marking it every four kilometers. So the first four kilometers took me 38 minutes in December this time round, five kilometers, right? Because they're measuring it in fives. Uh, did it in 29.27. <laughs> I'll take that too. Um, it took me 30 minutes to complete another four kilometers to get to eight. And then today, it took me another 29 minutes to get to 10 kilometers. So I actually got 10 kilometers under, uh, like 59 minutes at math, which is really cool. Um, and then the uh, next uh, 8 to 12 kilometers was 29 minutes in December. And then this time around, 10 kilometers to 15 kilometers, it took me 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to take all this as like I am overwhelmed. I'm super excited about this. Heart rate. Make sure I was in the zone in December. Yep, 99.7% of the time. And this time around, how was I? 99.8% of the time. Okay, so that was awesome. So that stayed uh, that stayed true. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at uh, where I kind of broke down, uh, per se. Uh, pace distribution. Now we're going to go race. And we'll smooth that out. Uh, and we'll do the same for today. And I'm going to smooth that out. Oops, sorry. Here, let's smooth that out. Okay, so where things went, uh, where did things start to fall apart, right? I kind of got to the track, I was on the track, and I ran, 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 and then uh, this is where I kind of left the track here, around 13. So I'm gonna say I kind of started to fall apart at about just before the 12 kilometer mark. That's when I kind of fell apart, per se. Um, and then this time around, I tied my shoe, just so everyone knows, right? Being transparent, I tied my shoe at this, at this little marker. So things kind of dropped, not to kind of catch up. But I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to say things kind of really... Mm, things kind of dropped at about 13, right? And then my pace started to go down. So that's okay. Again, I, I didn't eat anything, guys. Like, this was just, you know, no liquid, no food. I didn't eat anything while I was running. Um, and this is kind of where it landed. So I'm super happy. I'm, I'm thrilled with where things are at in terms, of, uh, in terms of math right now. And I couldn't be happier. So going to keep, keep on going, um, keep on plugging, and uh, keep getting the mileage up. So hopefully next week or this week coming up, I can hit uh, 100 miles, right? Because I averaged 100 and 130 kilometers this week. Last week was 114. So I'm working my way up. So we'll see where I am next week, but I'm hoping to, to, to be around the 160 kilometers, which would be 100 miles. That's the plan. So I hope all of your training is going well. And before we go, question of the day, 
how many kilometers are you running on a weekly basis and how many did you get in for May? Love to know in the comments below. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Until next time, run wild.